I've been doing traditional uh, knee replacements since 1986, so I had the experience of uh, doing a lot of knee replacements the old way. In 2005, August of 2005, I was approached by two engineers, and together the three of us came up with a way to sort of custom fit the knee. And what that is is that we recognize everybody's knee's a little different. But the trick is, how do you get the parts in in that patient so it's specific for them? So what we did is with MRI becoming a better technology, we thought, let's get the MRI. We can build a 3D model in the computer so we know how the knee is today when it's worn out. But we also know the patterns of wear so we can fill in the worn surfaces and build the knee up, make sort of what we call a naturally aligned normal knee how it might have been 15, 20 years ago. So in the computer, we have the arthritic model and we have the normal knee model. So what we do is we then take the parts. The different companies make a variety of sizes, and we have all those sizes in the computer. So we can pick the one that fits the best, position it such so that it's properly matching the surface. Well, this is a, a model of actually the right knee, and you can see the tendon here, which people would call the quadriceps tendon, and this is the kneecap that's attached to it. So when the person goes to straighten the knee, they pull on the muscle, and, and the knee will straighten up. We'll move the tendon out of the way, and then you can see the femur and the tibia, and this is the small bone on the side of the leg called the fibula. And the movement of this bone on the tibia is controlled by the ligaments, and this is called the anterior cruciate ligament, which is what the athlete can tear. These are the collateral ligaments. Uh, if they become arthritic, then all of the white cartilage that you see here, usually one side or the other will wear. So a person that's bow-legged will tend to wear the inside, and the person that's a little knock-kneed will tend to wear the outside. And so usually one side's in pretty good shape, the other side's pretty worn out. And so then that's when we can do, for example, get the MRI and create a new knee and do a total knee replacement. And so what a knee replacement is, if you can look at this piece of metal, it would fit like a cap, almost like a crown on a tooth on the end of the bone. And it's interesting, when you look at the piece from the side, it really is not much bone that's removed. We just shave enough bone off to fit the metal back on. So some people think, unfortunately, that we cut the bone here and put a whole piece on the end. Actually, all we do is just shave a little of the bone off and put this piece on the femur. And then on the tibia, down here, we actually have a piece of metal that gets cemented down inside the bone and a piece of plastic. And so what happens is the metal moves on the plastic. So you can see how we might just want to resurface the bone. Just going to put the pieces on in the exact same place where the knee was before. And this is what a knee replacement is. Now, when we plan in the computer for the custom fit knee, what we'll do is we'll make a model in the computer that'll look just like this with the parts properly positioned. And now what we need to do is transfer this position to this knee. And the way we do it is we have a guide that's machined to fit right on the back, just like a mouth guard would fit your mouth and not somebody else's. This actually fits the patient's knee. So there's a saw slot here that tells me where to make the cut there, and a couple of holes there get drilled in to set the position of the femoral component, the part that goes on the thigh bone. And then we also have a guide. These soft tissue items, the meniscus, are removed, and this fits and sits right like that on the front of the knee. And this then sets the cuts and makes the decisions for how to put the parts in on the tibial side. So the whole thing is planned in the computer and it makes the operation more efficient and more predictable. So once you put the parts in exactly in the original position where the original knee was, you end up with a knee that is happy, that moves easily because the ligaments are properly balanced and you can get your motion back quicker, the rehab is quicker, and the return to activities is quicker, which I think is what a lot of people are looking for.